everyone, welcome to Ama Pilates and Yoga. My name is Marisol and today's really quick tutorial is going to be on the hundreds and different ways that you can modify if you're feeling like the hundreds is a little too intimidating for right now or if you're wanting to challenge yourself. So let's start with the basic hundreds position. So we're going to lay down all the way, stretch out your legs, reach the arms up to the ceiling, Squeeze the inner thighs together and think about smushing the fabric of your leggings or whatever pants or shorts you're wearing together. And then exhale, arms down, chest lift. Float the socks or the ends of your toes up and hold it here. Now here you're gonna pump the arms about a, I would say a few inches up, a few inches down as you inhale for five counts or five pumps and exhale for five pumps. Good, and relax back down. So how can you make that more challenging? Well, what I like to do is I like to add coordination. For example, we're gonna reach the arms up, exhale, arms down, float the legs up. I like to cross my legs as I inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Or I like to lift my legs up and down, really targeting what feels like it's targeting the low abs a little bit more. So. Heels together, toes apart, inhale, exhale, arms down, chest lift. Bring the legs up, two, three, four, five, down, two, three, four, five, up, two, four, five, down, two, three, four, five, and lower. Of course, you can get really creative with your hundreds. Uh, I highly encourage all of my students to try to play around with different coordinations or patterns that they feel comfortable exploring. And if it works out, it does. And if it doesn't, <laughs> it feels a little clunky then there's always room to improve it. So how do you make it a little bit more accessible to all levels? Well, you can start by bending the knees, placing the feet flat, reaching the arms up, exhale, arms down, chest lift. Hold it here and we're gonna pump. And as we pump, you're gonna feel how it almost feels like the air that you're pumping your arms through gets really, really thick. That's the idea. You wanna create a little bit of a sense of resistance here. You wanna get your blood flowing, obviously your breath going. And remember that if you cannot add a chest lift, don't add it. Or maybe put an exercise ball underneath your head like a pillow and then relax. So again, if you can't do a chest lift, keep your head, neck and shoulders down or maybe put a small pillow behind your head so at least it kind of gets your body prepared and custom to possibly lifting. So when you're ready, arms up. Option number two, legs to tabletop. I don't love this option, but I always offer it in case someone wants it. Arms down, chest lift, and again, pump. Or you can try lifting your legs up to the ceiling. And what I like to do is I like to have my students have one leg down low. So you kind of get a sense of what both legs down low will feel like and then lower down, all right? So that's kind of the way that I like to teach my hundreds in my classes. Remember, there's always a way to kind of take a few steps back and meet you where you're at or challenge yourself in a different way, whether it's through coordination, whether it's through balance, whether it's through strength or kind of pushing your boundary a little bit. So remember that Pilates is for everyone and you can definitely find a version of the exercises that feel good to you and then be able to build on top of that. So with that being said, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. You can always reach out to me on social media as well. And I hope to see you in my next class. Bye guys.